Guys, here we are, buried in 2022. Oh my god. Honestly, what a goddamn throwback, man. Now, recently, you guys may have seen me play Die Rise, and I did the Easter egg solo. And uh, today, we're doing the exact same thing. We jumped on Buried, and we're going to try and do this Easter egg solo again. Now, just in case you guys didn't realize, um, if you want to try and do this on your own, the mod to actually download this will be in the description down below. And just as a little heads up as well, you do need to have Plutonium for this as well. So, again, if you want to download Plutonium and install this mod, I will leave everything down in the description down below. Now, I've built the nav car table, so that's all good to go. We are ready to start this easter egg. So, without further ado, people, let's jump down the little ditch area and let's get this show on the road. But before we do that, right, I just want to quickly try and attempt this. Now, upstairs, you guys know there's an Elsa, right? Now, let's see if we can try and bang it. I don't have the money to buy it. I could stay here and try and get it, but screw it. We're just going to go for it. Let's jump. Come on. Can we do it? We got it. And there's the Elsa. Now, if I had the money, I would have bought it, but I don't. Anyway, let's grab Quick Revive. Let's do this. Um, we need to grab the Remington as well. And we can quickly get a cheeky thousand points. There we go. Just like so. Now we can jump down here. And the first thing we need to do is grab one part to the guillotine, which should be just here. And done. Part one is now added. Right, let's actually go and let Leroy out now at the prison. So we need to run all the way over here, jump across, jump down. And then we can grab the key just on the wall and let out our boy Leroy. Man like Leroy being let out of prison. We can go and grab him some booze as well. And get him to smash open that door. Let's go. Alright, now Leroy is free. Um, I guess what we could do now is probably head on over to the bank. Because I think the last time I played this was... Oh my god. It must have been at, at least a year ago or so. Something like that. But I know for a fact I saved up a bunch of cash. So hopefully it's still there. And all I have to do is withdraw it. And we could just literally crack on with it from like, what? Like, round one. Right, this is the moment of truth. Can we withdraw cash? Yes, we can indeed, boys. Look at that. I'm going to withdraw about 30k. That should be enough for us to actually get the, uh, the Easter egg. Oh, my God. Right, you know what? Let's take him out. We don't even need the zombie right now anyway. So carry on withdrawing money. Right, we've got 30,000 points to our name. Uh, what we need to do now is um, probably carry on grabbing some parts of the guillotine. I think there's a part here, if I remember. There is indeed. All right, cool. And uh, the other parts are scattered around the map. So we're going to go grab that after we've applied this one. Jesus Christ, we're actually stuck in here. We need to make sure we actually don't get trapped. That's going to be problems. You know what? I'm going to grab it. Screw it. I'm going to grab the nuke. Just for security purposes. Yo, let's actually go box and get a goddamn gun. Because if we get trapped, that's just L's, man. So, yeah, we need to get at least a gun. Something to kind of oh, monkey bomb. Why? Why are you doing this to me right now? Anything. I will take a shotgun. Another pistol. There we go. I'll take it. That's enough to kind of, you know, extra protection. But, yeah, let's go add this, uh, this little spool to the guillotine part. And then this will mean we've added two parts so far. Right, done. Now, for another two parts, there should be one upstairs, I believe. Um, just up here. Can I jump across? Yeah, I should, yeah, there you go. I could jump across. And the next part should be right here. So we're just going to grab that and apply that to the guillotine. And now the last part should be in a tunnel somewhere. If I remember correctly anyway. It's the uh, the crystal. That's what we're looking for. Fucking hell. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Oh, we need to turn on power soon as well. We need to turn on power very soon, just so we can get Jug. So, yeah, let's go into the tunnels and let's try and find this crystal. Uh, it's not this way because that's the crystal ball for when we use the paralyzer. So, let's hop across here. There we go. There's the crystal. So, this is the last part to the guillotine. Um, and then that should literally be built. And then we could just move on to the, I believe it's the second step now, or the third step. Right, done. Now, you know you've done it because you hear like a little completion sound as well. And uh, Rick Toffin will start talking. So, you know that that's now completed. So the next part to the easter egg is we need to hit the box now and we need to try and get time bombs and the paralyzer. So in terms of like out of them two weapons, we need to get the paralyzer like now. Um, I mean, it will be nice if we can get the time bombs as well. But, you know, we can grab them further down the line. So it's more it's more about getting the paralyzer at the moment. But I just went and uh, quickly grabbed some booze. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Leroy. I need him to come over here a bit though. Oh my god. He's going to bloody miss. Come over here, man. I'm going to give Leroy the, uh, the booze for him to open up Jug for us. And then what I'm going to do is buy that and then crack on with this box again. Right, let's grab Jug. Oh, we need to turn on the fucking power. I forgot about that. Right, we got the Rhaegar Mark II. I mean, we don't need it, but we'll take it anyway. But here we go. Jug has now been bought. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we got the time bombs. Let's go. That is the time bomb indeed. So all we need now is the Paralyzer and we're literally good to go. So that's good news. Oh my God. And we got the Paralyzer. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, what are the chances in that, man? We pulled the time bomb, and then literally, like, one or two more box spins after that, we got the paralyzer. 
So now what we need to do is we need to go around the map and we need to shoot these little red crystals, right? We need to turn them from red to white. So let's do that now. Um, yeah, like I said, you'll know when it's done because you'll hear like a little ding noise and of course it will turn white. So that's the first one done. Now the second one will be in the tunnels, I remember. I mean, we literally just saw it last time, so... Oh my god, the little glitch there. But we have to run round, go down the tunnel, turn right here, and then this will be the second one. So we're going to do that right now. Just like so. Now I couldn't find any booze, so I had to buy some from the bar, which cost a thousand points. But I'm going to use that so I can get Leroy to smash open this area, just so we can go through. Right, there you go. This area has now been unlocked. Um, now the third one is in the graveyard. If you come to the back, it's just going to be over here. So again, we just shoot that until it changes colour. Just like so. And now the fourth and final crystal ball is going to actually going to be um, at the back of the witch's house. So you need to go through the witch's house first. And then, uh, yeah, you'll see me do it anyway. But the first thing I need to do is make sure we deposit some cash. Because I don't want to go in there with like 14k. Because the chances are, right, let's face it. You're going to go in there and you're going to lose it. If you could go in there and not have any of your money taken, then you are literally a GOAT. Because I know for a fact, if I go in there with 15k, I'm going to come out with zero. So yeah, that's not going to happen. I'm definitely going to deposit my cash. But I'm going to deposit probably around like, I don't know, about 8 to 10k. So I want to keep about 5. Now, I don't mind blowing 5k, that's fine. I don't have any issues with that. Because, I mean, the good thing about having money on you anyway is the fact that, you know, she'll take your money rather than hitting you. So when you run out of points, that's when she, you know, starts actually... Um, hitting you and you take damage So just bear in mind if you have zero and you go in there you, That's when you'll take damage But uh, yeah I'd say 5k should be more than enough right, Let's hop over here using the paralyzer Which is very very sick by the way Because normally you'd have to break this down But with the paralyzer remember guys you can fly Look if I jump you can legit just fly So pretty sick Right here's a moment of truth let's crack open this door And let's defend ourselves Against these bloody damn witches Right go at least we have the Rhaegar Mark 2. Ooh! Oh my god. Right, one's going to come from behind us, or one's going to come from the bookshelf, if I remember. Something like that. Yep, there you are. And I'm missing. I can't believe I'm actually missing. I'm trash. Oh my god, reload. Okay, we're still reloading. Right, we just lost 2,000 points. So that's not great. But, if I remember, I think we get a free perk or some shit, don't we? I'm pretty sure we do. I don't know. I can't remember. But, I think we get a free perk once we take out the witches. Yeah, you do. There you go. There's our free little perk. So hopefully we don't get Mule Kick or some shit. <sighs> what do we get? We got Mule Kick. For goodness sake, man. Anyway, let's whip out the Paralyzer. Let's take out this last Crystal Ball. Let's go. And done. So once you've done that, you're going to hear another completion sound. And that step is now completed. So now we need to make our way back through the house again. Um, because we need to go to, I believe, a water fountain or something. We need to pick up a purple lantern. So that's the next step. Right, so we're back into the back now, into the main, uh, you know, little area. So this is the lantern that we need, I think. Um, how to get it? I don't know. Maybe we shoot it? Do we shoot it? No, we don't. I think we need to, like, fucking chase it and grab it. Where are you going? Are you going over here? I can't remember how to grab this thing. Maybe it's like this. Do we just run and grab it? No, we don't. Okay, cool. That's not, that's not good. All right, I remember now. You have to chuck a grenade, people. Once you chuck a grenade at the lantern, then it will fall down. You can pick it up. There you go. Right, let's pick it up. And now what we need to do is we need to go into the witch's house again. And we actually need to kill witches this time um, to, in order for us to charge up the lantern. So let's hop over this fence again. And let's, uh, <laughs> let's go back into the witch's house. So hopefully we actually do a good job. Uh, yeah, but we'll find out anyway. We just I don't know how many kills we need to get. Um, but you can hear the little, you know, the fucking things being charged. So you just need to keep up with it. And hopefully... We don't die. Right, another witch. That's another That's another charge. Another one there. You'll know when it's done anyway, because it should make like a completion noise. I'm just going to sit here for a second. And just uh, let the witcher spawn in. Right, reload. Oh my god. Reload! I think it's done. Because it's not making any more dings. So we can go. Oh my god, see you later. Let's go. That's right, so the same thing. Now you just need to make your way back through the witcher's house. And we need to go and craft the lantern now. Right, so if you're wondering where you need to go in order to craft it, you just need to come up here and you need to jump across to the gun store, uh, to, my god, to the gun store, sorry. And it'll be like a little purple outline. So you literally just craft it here. And then once you've done that, on the wall above you, there's going to be all of this text. Now, it looks scary, right? It does look a bit very, very confusing. But don't worry about it. Um, we can literally decipher this. So in order for us to do that, I have a code that I'm going to put on screen now. And it's going to let you know the different, um... Basically, the different names of, in order for us to decipher this code. 
So the code that I'm using right now is made by Mr. Ruffle Waffles. So big up him. Um, and yeah, basically the top code here, that looks like it's reading, from what I can see anyway, it's called like Dry Gulcha Shaft. I probably butchered that. But yeah, <laughs> that's the first one. Um, the second one, it's an L with two squares and left left. So that's looking like Consumption Cross from what I can see. And then the third one uh, looks like it's, uh, it's like a left with, uh, with two boxes and a, and a U. So I think that is Bone Alt Shard Vein. I probably butchered it. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, they're the three codes that I've got anyway. Um, so yeah, let's go hit that in now. Now, in order for us to actually activate these codes, uh, which is in the tunnels, you actually need to buy Galva Knuckles. So we're going to have to go withdraw some cash. Um, so yeah, let's go over here and withdraw probably around... Let's just withdraw 10k. Because I know Galva Knuckles are about 6 or 7k, right? Something like that, yeah. So let's just get 10k, run down. Uh, we're going to pick up the little chalk for the Galva Knuckles. And then, uh, yeah, we're just basically going to chalk it, buy it, and then go do it. Right, so I've just made it on, uh, on top of the saloon. And I know there's a little chalk bit here. So we're going to chalk it. And then we're going we're gonna to buy them. How much are you? 6k. There we go. And now what we need to do is we need to head into the tunnel. So we need to basically um, find these little signs, just like this. And we need to punch them. Now, uh, like I said, the first one was the dry gulcha shaft. So this is going to be this one. Just like so. And now the second one... Uh, we said it was consumption cross. So again, we just need to find the little uh, tag or, you know, the little label for that. So that is not that one. We don't need... Oh my god. How have I done that? Anyway, we finally made it across. <laughs> oh, I had to go all the way around. But yeah, we're back up anyway. Uh, so the second one was consumption cross. So where are you? Consumption cross. Where are you? Let's buy the door. Um, it should be around, around here somewhere. There you go. There's consumption cross. Let's punch that. And then we said the third one was Bone Orchard Vein. So we need to find that one now. And here you go. This is the last one. So we just need to punch that. And there you go. Uh, you're going to hear a little completion sound. Now, I will let you know, right? Some of these steps, they might be different to the original quest. And that's just because, um, you know, you can't do this solo. So in order for you to do it solo, you have to install a mod. You have to have plutonium. And what's happened is, is the guy who made the mod has actually changed a couple steps. So, you know... If you're looking at this and you're thinking, oh, that's not the actual quest. You have to do it this way. Just bear in mind, it has been modified in order for you to do it solo on Plutonium. So now that we've done that, the next step to the Easter Egg is we need to go um, and buy Vulture Aid. Now, we have to follow a Wisp. And I think the only way you can actually see it is if you have Vulture Aid. Um, so, yeah, we need to go and do that. All right, let's go break open this door. Give the boost to Leeway. And then uh, I think scam... Why am I saying scavenger? Bloody hell. It's Vulture Aid. Vulture Aid should be at the back, right? There we go. So this is going to cost 3,000 points, which means we are completely broke now. But remember, we can always go back to the bank anyway. Now, the round has ended. So what I'm going to have to do is obviously survive it. Once we get a crawler, then we'll go back and continue it. Right, there you go. So we've got a crawler now. Uh, we can take out this zombie here because we don't need him. Uh, oh, my God. Did I miss? There you go. And now what we have to do is we have to go back to the tunnels. And I believe we just have to, like, melee the wisp. And then we just need to follow it. Right, so now that we have Vulture Aid, we need to go around and hit all of the uh, the three little signs again. So I've done the first one. Uh, the second one, I believe it was Consumption Cross. Now we need to jump across here. Go all the way around here and it should be just here. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. And then the very last one, if I remember, was like the Bone Orchard Vein or some shit. But that is going to be all the way through here. It's pretty much right at the very end of this tunnel. And what we need to do is when I hit it, a Wisp is going to spawn in. And we just need to follow it. It's as simple as that. So, uh, yeah, just carry on following it, and then you'll know when it's done. Oh, can we make it? We made it. Look at that. I'm absolutely goated. I can't believe I actually made it. Let's go through, collect it. Now we go back through here. Jump across, collect it. Now where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, my God. Right, we've got to go this way. Come on. We have to be quick as well, because it will disappear. So make sure. Can we make it? Oh, my God. We did it again. By the door. Grab it. Now we need to go into the gun store. Move up my way. Go into the gun store. Grab the wisp. We need to go back up. Where are we going? Oh, quickly. No, 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 no. Quick, quick, quick. Like I said, it will disappear. So you have to be quick, man. You have to be fast. And then it looks like it's gone to the guillotine, which I think means we've done it correctly. Let's fucking go. Right. So now that the, um, what's it called? The wisp is at the guillotine. What we need to do now is we need to actually charge it. So we just need to get kills basically by the guillotine. And once it's charged up, that's when we use a time bomb. Um, and then we have to go around the map and find bodies. And there you go. So it will go to the zombie. And then you just need to kill it. And then basically we've collected uh, like one soul. So yeah, that's what we have to do basically now. We just have to keep killing zombies. And then 
we can move on to the uh, the time bomb step. Now, this doesn't work for every single zombie. The guillotine will pick who it wants to uh, basically collect the soul with. So, yeah, you just need to carry on watching. Um, and then when you see it, just kill it. Right, so I've collected all the souls by the guillotine now. And what I've done is I've just gone to upgrade because once we actually place down the time bomb, we go into like an infinity round um, style. And basically, yeah, you can't kill the zombies, I don't think. Um, and I don't know. I don't, you know what? I don't even know why I upgraded because I don't even think you can kill the zombies. But out of panic, I low-key just upgraded just in case. But uh, yeah, what we're going to do now is just get a crawler. Um, again, that probably doesn't even matter. But we're going to do it anyway. And then place down the time bomb and search these bodies. And we need to try and find a switch as fast as possible. So let's place down this time bomb. And then we need to activate it. And there you go. Look, we've gone into like an infinity round. And now what we need to do is very, very quickly, we need to find bodies. And we need to search them. Right now, fortunately, guys, we actually failed it. So we're going to have to go back and do it again. But in order for us to do that, we need a max ammo. So yeah, I'm going to have to grab one and then I'll see you guys when uh, we have it again. Right, we managed to grab a max ammo. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly place down the time bomb. And we're going to go back into infinity round again. So let's go. Let's do it. Right. So we need to find some bodies. And they spawn absolutely randomly. So I don't know where the hell they're going to be. Hopefully we can pull the switch first time. That would be ideal. Come on, body, body, body. Any bodies around here, man? Bloody hell. This step is probably one of the most frustrating steps because it's not even in your control. Yes, let's go. We found the switch. Let's go. So it was in Marston's body over there. And we're back. Oh my days. You know how lucky that is. I've searched three goddamn bodies. Three goddamn bodies. And we finally got it. Oh my days. I actually thought we wasn't. But let's go. We can actually move on from this goddamn step. Honestly, that step there, right, is probably the most jarring bit about this entire Easter egg. Because it's out of your control. Like, you don't decide, like, whether you get this... Oh, my days. You don't decide whether if you get the switch, like, first time or second time. But, yeah, let's just add it onto the uh, to the guillotine, because that's what we need to do. And then we can move on to the next step. Right, so this is where things get very, very techy, because we have to come to this maze. And in this maze, there's four switches around the map, right? And there's actually 24 combinations that it could be. So I don't have a clue what the hell the combo is going to be. The only way we can do it is by pulling it. Um, and it's literally just trial and error. You have to pull it. And if you don't get the combo right, you've got to do it again. So what I'm going to do is just run through as many combos as I can. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully we actually bloody get it done. So this looks like the first lever, right? This is the blue one. Now, just because we found it doesn't mean it is the right one. But um, at least we know where the blue one is. And now we found the green lever as well. So at the moment, I'm just going around the map trying to find out where all the levers are. And then I'll go through the codes. Now, this step did actually take me a fair while. As there are 24 possible combos that it could actually be. And one thing you have to bear in mind, every single time you fail, you have to go all the way through the witch's house and then come all the way back in order for the switches to basically change. And you can have another go. There we go. Finally. Oh, my days. We actually got it. Oh my god, can you believe it? Right, so from what I can uh, kind of gather from doing this quest, right, the little switches, is when I was pulling them, it always, like, the last one always gave me the spark, if that makes sense. Because some people say on the switches it gives you a spark, right? But every time I pulled it, nothing happened. It was only to the last one, that's when it sparked. So I'm assuming whichever colour sparks, it must indicate, like, that must be the last one or something. Because for me, right, I pulled the red, the blue, the yellow, nothing. But the minute I pulled the green, um, it sparked. And yeah, so basically, for me anyway, I just went through all of the 24 combinations. Um, and I only did the combinations that had green at the end. Um, and all of them didn't work apart from the final one. And then it ended up working. So I'm not going to tell you that... Like, I, I don't want to give you false information in sense of like, oh, if you pull the switch and red is sparking, that means red must go last. But like, from what I could gather anyway, is when I pulled the switch, um, it was green as the last one. So I just did all of them with the green being the last, if that makes sense. But anyway, yeah, um, that's now done, which is absolutely fucking fantastic. We just have to make our way back through the house now. Um, and now we have to go to the fountain. Right, so we're back into the main map now. And uh, the well that we need to go to is over here. Now, all you have to do is go up to the well, hold X or F, and then make a wish. 
But in the original buried quest, what you have to do is do a sharpshooter. So you'd have to shoot a bunch of different um, like signs. But in this case, that's kind of been removed. So all we have to do is make the wish. And we're going to go do that now. So let's go to the fountain, make the wish. And there you go. It's as simple as that. This has been the buried Easter egg completed on Solo. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please smash that like button, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you guys want to try out the mod for yourself, again, like I said, all of the links will be down in the description down below. I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!